I worked for you, Jacob Dube. You came to me in 2018 seeking for power, fame, and wealth. I worked for you. I sent you to bring sand from five churches, from five different men of God, which you did. Remember, you made a vow to pay 300,000 rand every three months. Now you have gotten what you wanted, but you refused to pick my call. You refused to call me. You never answered my call. Jacob Dube. Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, and it's night over here in Italy. I hope you are fine with the grace of Christ and his peace be multiplied in our life. Yeah, today, quickly, there is a video that I saw on Facebook this evening, and it's all about a witch doctor that is purporting himself to blaspheme a pastor called J. Israel. So when I saw this video, I know that this video was orchestrated by the enemy. So I said, let me share with you if you want to serve God in this end time, this is what you are going to expect. If you want to serve God genuinely, you want to serve God with all your heart, you want to serve God and abandon the whole works of the enemy, this is just exactly what you are going to be seeing and what you are going to be experiencing. And if you have been with the devil for some time, before you repented, before you come back, before you were baptized into the kingdom of God and before you believed in Christ, the enemy is not going to be looking at you like that. They are not happy that you are saved. That is the reality. So today I saw a video about a witch doctor and he was saying that he is behind the prosperity of a pastor, the fame of a pastor called J. Israel. So when I saw the video, if you have been following Pastor J. Israel from South Africa, you would understand that this pastor stood firm against the work of the enemy in the church, especially by exposing what they have been doing in the church before. He is carrying a crusade, a missionary revolution that he titled Back to Christ. He told us about the stories of what happens to him when he was in the world as a pastor, as a prophet, that he was serving the devil, that so many atrocities were done in the church, but he was lured into this. But when he repented, according to what he said, when he converted, when he believed in Christ, real Christ, not the people that said they believe in Christ and they did not believe. So he stood against those practices and he started exposing them. Well, the video I saw today, this pastor was saying that he is behind this pastor's fame. Well, when I analyzed the video, actually after watching the video, I prayed. I got to pray because I know the video will deceive so many people to be thinking that the video is real. No, the video was orchestrated by the enemy and um, it was acted it was just stage managed by the enemy so i'm going to show you this video and um if you watch it you will realize you will find out even without you praying without you minding your spiritual ability you would understand that this video is really fake but why am i showing you this video prepare a lot of things is going to be happening in your life if you stood for Christ, if you believe in Christ, if you believe in the good news, if you believe in what is good and hate what is bad. These are the things that you would be seeing. It's real. Because the Bible foretold us that in the last days, that the period of times shall come. Time that will be hard to deal with. That so many people will be the lover of the world, the lover of money, the lover of evil, against the love of God. My name is Adelabu. I come from Ijebu Ode, Nigeria. But I live here in Harare, Zimbabwe. I worked for you, Jacob Dube. You came to me in 2018, seeking for power, fame, and wealth. I worked for you. 
I sent you to bring sand from five churches, from five different men of God, which you did. Remember, you made a vow to pay 300,000 rands every three months. Now you have gotten what you wanted, but you refused to pick my call. You refused to call me. You never answered my call. Jacob Dube, pay my money. Since this year, you did not pick my call. You refused to call me. You blocked my line. If you block my line, you can't block me spiritually. I am telling you, Adeb Labu, you cannot run away from me. You cannot run away from me. I know how to get you. Your friend Solomon knows what I can do to you. Remember how I helped you to take over somebody's church in East London, in South Africa. Also remember how you brought your girlfriend's pants, Naomi, to me to work for you. I worked for you. I worked for you. Remember your girlfriend's pants. You brought your girlfriend's pants. Naomi, you brought three of your girlfriend's pants for me to work for you. These are the pants. This is the black, this is the red, and this is the white. Stand with your, your menstrual period for you to get fame, money, and more members. I have worked for you. I work for you diligently. Pay me my money. Pay me my money. Or else you run mad before the end of this year. Here is your picture I used in working for you when you came to my place. I used your picture in working for you. Remember. 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 Here is the money you dropped in my altar. Here is the money you dropped in my altar for me to work for you. And I have worked for you. I have worked for you. This is the money you dropped. For you to get more money, I'm still working for you. But now, I have changed my mind. I have changed my mind. You dropped dollars, dollars and rams for me to work for you. And now you have paid me evil from now till December. If you don't pay my money, you will turn madman in the streets of South Africa. Your friend Solomon Izang knows what I can do. You know what happened to a motor show in South Africa? He faced disgrace and shame. I helped him. He refused to pay my money. Look at his humiliation today. Look at his hum humiliation. If I can humiliate my own brother, who are you? What will happen to you will be more than a motor show's own. You will run mad before December. Pay me my money, some woe me for me, some woe me for me, some woe me for me, more than some woe me, and me a day like that. Why me home? Ah! Jay is there! Bummy, 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 he be keep it over wa, he be keep it over wa, bummy, 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 I am killing this power because of Jay Israel. The spirit will fight for you. The spirit will go against you. As I cut this power, as I cut this power, let the, let the God fight you. Let the God fight you. Jay Israel. Jay Israel. Jay Israel. Jay Israel. This is the blood. I kill this power. I kill this power. Your generation. We are unborn, we suffer for it. Because you refuse to pay my money. You will run mad. You will run mad if you don't pay me my money. Don't go. Or not as of a wule, le wule, go. Any day wule, or you are alone to me. If you are alone to me, I go and say to me, I hear you. There is that. There is that. You will face shame and disgrace in your life. You will face shame and disgrace in your life. For because you refuse to pay me my money, you will be humiliated, you will be disgraced, you will, shame will follow you. Shame will follow you, Jesus. I kill this power because of you. Your generation unborn will suffer for it. 
You and your girlfriend will never see peace. Even if you marry, you get new girlfriend. You will not have peace in your life. Jay Israel, pay me my money. Pay me my money. Jay Israel, oh, you face madness. You, you move naked in the streets of South Africa. Anyone who knows J. Israel, Jacob Dube, tell him now, pass this message to him. If you refuse to pay me my money, I will going to show this video to the world. I will show this video to the world. How he came to me to, to acquire powers. Well, anyone that knows him, knows Jacob Dube, J. Israel, tell him, oh, tell him, tell him to pay me my money. Obey Adelaja, obey Adelibu. And this is what we are seeing today. But don't give up, be strong in the Lord. You that have believed in God strongly, be firm. Because a lot of things is going to be happening. But he that endured to the end, the same, shall be saved. But we have our hope because we know we are guaranteed in Christ. Just as the word of God made us to understand in Proverbs 26 27. That he that rolleth a stone, it shall return upon him. And he that diggeth a pit, it shall fall on it. We have a guarantee. The word of God made us to understand in Isaiah 54 verse 17. He said, no weapon that will form against you shall prosper. The Bible did not say that they are not going to farm. The Bible did not say they are not going to, you know, orchestrate against you. But he gave us his assurance. Look at what he said in Isaiah 77. He said, if the Lord did not permit, neither shall it stand nor it come to pass. So, I'm telling you to stand firm in the Lord. I am telling you to hold your faith because a lot of things is going to be happening. It has been happening. If you have never given up on God, I don't believe that this is the time for you to give up on God. No matter what the enemy might be saying, they might lie against your pastor tomorrow. They may lie against so many people. They may stage a war against the pastors to make sure that the mind of the followers, the mind of the believers will scatter. But don't find yourself in that instant. Put all your trust in Jesus. Believe in God. And you shall receive the reward, which is your salvation. Thank you for having time to listen to this video. I remain your friend. Coach happy Marcel.